Hey folks, we are here with Tina Keeper from the film Through the Black Spruce. Now you are the producer of the film, hands-on as we were just talking about, as women are, we like to get things done. And you got a lot done on this film. You really put it all together. What was that like? Um, it was a, uh, it was a great, it was a great experience. Like incredible, I'm so grateful for the experience of like, you know, optioning material, finding a writer, working with a writer, and then sort of like just bringing it through to production. And I'm so grateful to Serendipity Point Films, you know, for producing the feature. And uh, Don McKellar, of course, um, was great director. And our lead actors are Tanae Beattie and Brandon Oaks. And their performances were stellar. So it's a, it was an incredible experience. What was it about the, the story when you read it that made you think this has to be adapted into a film? My mother um, is, my late mother is actually from that treaty territory and speaks that language, so she's of that culture. And I really wanted that, um, I really wanted that brought to Canadian cinema. You know, I felt that there's a part of Canada that, you know, most Canadians don't know about. And so I felt that this story was reflective of an experience of a family in that that part of Canada and it's you know so it, there's a lot of it that resonated with me personally. When you have a vision like that you read a piece of material that really resonates with you yes. and you have the opportunity to put it together and have people see it on screen, screen what was it like to see the final cut for you? It was absolutely breathtaking. Alaska B was our composer and um, so the film is so beautiful and I, I there was moments actually where like just tears sprung to my eyes and I, I hadn't even had some thoughts about you know my life and so it was just an incredible and so it's such a beautiful film like Don McKellar is an amazing director he's a brilliant director and we we had such a wonderful collaboration on this project because we worked with cultural consultants language consultants it was, we had elders, we worked with Tantu Cardinal and Graham Green and Edmund Matatawaban, who is like a chief from, former chief from Fort Albany, who wrote the book up Ghost River. He's from the region, he was part of our film. So it was an incredible experience working with Musini, the Moose Creek First Nation, incredible. So when people talk about authenticity, it's really about as authentic a project as it could be. Yes, it was, um, you know, it was culturally, you know, my, my people and I have I am so proud that we were able to work on this project together and um, make this film. I can see how much it means to you and I'm sure that that is going to resonate with audiences when they see it. So congratulations. We much. can't w wait till it gets to the theater so we can tell all of you guys about it. Congratulations. Thank and again. congratulations on your work too. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Bye-bye.